Hey there everybody, this is Cosmic Crypto, the DeFi DGen, coming to you with another video. Today's topic is MetaMask. MetaMask is a, a browser plugin, a crypto wallet. It is the glue that holds DeFi together. Basically, if you want to interact with any of these DApps, I think by and large everyone is using MetaMask, at least you know if you're physically interacting with it and not with the program or something. Um, so <clears throat> MetaMask has, uh, capabilities to connect to a hardware wallet, which I recommend hardware wallets. This is not a security video, but, um, I do recommend that you run, uh, virtual machines. Um, this, this is a Ubuntu virtual machine that, uh, you, and then you, you can do a USB pass through to connect to your hardware wallet. Um, that, that is definitely the, the way I recommend to do it. Or if you want to go one step further, you could even have like a laptop, just buy a cheap laptop, um, that you could use, uh, make sure it's Windows um, or you know can, Linux, so, uh, not a, a Chromebook or something like that, um, that you could use MetaMask with. Um, and then that way you only use that for trading or interacting with these apps and you don't use it for surfing the web or um, checking email or you know things like that. All right, so, um, you just go to the website, metamask.io, click on this download now, and we're, they support uh, Firefox, um, iOS, and Android. I guess the um, I, the iOS and Android apps are a little different. Like you, I don't think you can use hardware wallets with them yet. Um, but anyway, they have it. That they, I'm sure they'll get it around to it. They basically need to implement the Bluetooth, uh, the Ledger Nano X, and I, I believe the, the Trezor higher-end ones have. Well, I know the Ledger Nano X has Bluetooth. But I don't think MetaMask has yet implemented it, so you couldn't really do this with your um, phone. Which you know that that that's probably a, a good feature to have moving forward. But right now it's okay. So we're gonna install it. Add to Firefox. Add. Okay, got it. You can let it run in private windows if you want to. And then I thought this Fox is kind of neat. Uh, click on getting started. Um, okay. So if you do have a seed phrase, I guess you could import it. Uh, but really if you're using this with a hardware wallet, which is what we're going to demonstrate, um, you don't need like this, this wallet is just, it makes you do it for some reason, but you don't really need it. So, um, just make sure you don't use it obviously. But, um, so we're just going to make a, this is, this password is the password that you'll have to type to actually get into the um the wallet when it when the browser like relaunches or whatever it has you like log into the wallet so that's what this password is for and that will be used even when you're using the hardware wallet we won't save that in our local cache here all right so um the way that crypto works is that every account is basically just our, a, a cryptographic key that is randomly generated and then they have these like seed phrases that are um just a, a, a convenient way to to reference all the characters possible in the cryptographic um, character set that they're using to to build the, the private keys. So, like I said, in this case, all we really need to do is just parrot it back because we're not going to use it. I mean, if you needed to use, if you needed to secure a key like this, you would not um, save it in a file or save it in on on a uh, cloud drive or you know you, you want to make sure you keep that really close on, on written down on maybe a piece of paper or something in a safe or a safe deposit box uh, okay so now we just have to pair it back this phrase so damp diesel bulk Okay, everything's good. That button will let us confirm, and then we're all done. So we can close this, and we don't need to save. All right, so uh, MetaMask actually just came out with this feature where they use like Uniswap and uh, OneInch and Dex.ag and these different uh, aggreg aggregators and liquidity providers to do swaps right within the wallet. So when you do this, you're not MetaMask is just being is just calling the smart contract on your behalf, basically. Um, so that that's a new feature they just added. <clears throat> All right, and um, basically you have a wallet here, right? I mean, you can you can uh, well have a buy button if you want to 
I think they have some sort of way you can you know connect a wallet or, or get fiat into it. I've never done that. Uh, you can send um, tokens, so we don't have anything to send right now. But if you had other um, ERC twenties, then they would show in this list here as well. Uh, but there's there's nothing here because there's nothing in the wallet because we just made it. Um, all right, but again, we're not going to be using this wallet, so it'll show you. There's different accounts. Um, right now, there's only one account. We want to connect a hardware wallet. All right, and we have a ledger. And so, uh, first off, you need to. I'm going to pause the video here because I need to unlock a lot of the device. All right, so once you have your device unlocked and um, on in, in the Ethereum app, then you can click uh, connect here. Now I'm going to pause again. Okay, so um, just trying to keep a little privacy there. So what what happens is uh, it, I didn't have to touch anything. I, I've heard that. Well, I've seen in some dialogues where you're they want you to touch the key or something, but it, if it's unlocked and it's in the app, I've never had to touch it, so I'm not sure what situation would cause that. But um, again, uh, any wallet you can generate multiple um, accounts. From that wallet so multiple public addresses from that same wallet uh, private key so that's what's going on here um, so we're just going to select one of them and unlock and it's going to uh, talk to the, the wallet again and, and now it, this is the same exact thing that we had before but now um, if we go to the list here now there's two right so the ledger and then the the normal account all right, so whenever, <clears throat> again, the reason you want this is to be able to interact with, um, you know, just dApps on, for, well, in our case, mostly DeFi. So anyway, I hope this video was useful. Um, give a, a like and a uh, subscribe and hit the bell, and I will see you next time.